So we're excited with this new collaboration between Crew at the Cincinnati Zoo and Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Um, we're hoping to validate some methods of non-invasively measuring heart rate and respiration rate and metabolism in wildlife species. So this is a good spot for now. So the goal of this project is to use this infrared camera to get measurements of health on animals. What we're doing is we're taking the infrared camera and we're going to be taking the images and videos and then we're also taking the heart rate and respiration rate and body temperature on the actual animal. So then we can take what we have on the camera and the real measurements and compare them. This is pretty exciting because we're always trying to find new ways to non-invasively measure animal health. What we're working with right now is the heart rate because to get heart rate, what we're looking for is sort of pulsing of the veins, usually in the face area. Um, and this is a little more difficult to measure, especially if the animals are moving. We have some data from a gorilla that we got last week where we amplified the motion of the vessels in the face and we were able to get the exact same heart rate that we got from the stethoscope. Have you done any other large animals? We're using the stethoscope for most of the animals to get that actual heart rate. However, um, we're going to be trying the Doppler on the hippos today because we think that they have um, their skin is too thick or there's too much blubber to actually pick it up with the stethoscope. Well, it'll make things a lot easier for us than having to go and individually handle individual animals. That's a lot more time consuming and it's a lot more stressful for the animal as well. So if we're able to do this, that would reduce the stress on the animals while increasing the knowledge that we have about their health. So we also hope that this technology might be useful for monitoring animal reproduction. So for example, we know that an animal's body temperature shifts slightly around the time of ovulation. So if we can get body temperature measurements on an animal every single day, we can in theory know exactly when that animal is about to ovulate and then time our artificial insemination procedures accordingly. Once we have it validated, we can use it in zoo populations without getting too close and then ideally use it in wild populations as well. So one of the goals of research in zoos is to develop techniques that will help wild populations. So we feel confident that that validating this technique here at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden will be useful in monitoring populations out in the wild and help conserve those species. The cool thing about being at the zoo is we have access to a lot of different animals that have a lot of different types of physical attributes. So with fur, without fur, a lot of blubber, not a lot of blubber. So what we can do is we can kind of see how this camera works with all those different animals. To our knowledge, this is the first time this particular technology has been applied to any wildlife species.